Activate Flippy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Flippy Wonders. Halloween decorations are so much fun. Whoa! A T Rex witch decoration. Whoa! Hmm, I wonder, what would it be like to celebrate Halloween with a dinosaur? Great idea, Taps. Let's go back in time and find out. Going back in time! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. New friends! It's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. Hello, new friends. I'm Pack and the Parasaur all of us. Hmm. Pair a sore all a fuss. Parasaurolophus. Look how colorful you are. You're like a little orange flower. <laughs> <laughs> this is my Halloween costume. Halloween is where we dress up in costumes and trick or treat. Ooh, ooh, I want to dress up in trick or treat too. Whatever that is. All right. First, you need a costume. I want to be something fabulous and fun. How about a unicorn? Is a unicorn fabulous and fun like me? Yeah. We can use sticky tree sap and pine needles to make a unicorn mane and tail for you. Now all you need is a horn. Let's go find one. Hop on! Hello! Hey, it's Tina the T-Rex. Hi, Tina. We're dressing Paka up in a costume for Halloween. Hello what? Halloween. I'm dressing up as a fabulous unicorn. Oh, oh, I want to dress up too. I want to be something curious, fun, and always ready for adventure. You're right, Tabs. That does sound like me. I'm a blippy dinosaur. Next, we need buckets to hold all of our treats. Now we're ready to go trick-or-treating. Yay! Let's go! Whoa! Trick-or-treat! Trick-or-what? Treat! We're looking for treats. Oh, all right. Well, get ready, everyone. Yay! <laughs> Trick-or-treating! Me too! And I got the answer to my question. What's it like to celebrate Halloween with a dinosaur? It's awesome! You get to dress up a dinosaur in a costume, make treat buckets out of leaves, and go trick-or-treating. Upload answer tabs. <laughs> Let's dance! Hooray! All right! <laughs> <laughs> Happy Halloween! <laughs> <gasps> You're right, Debo. Looks like the Pumpkin Queen is having a Halloween party. Hmm. I wonder where the Pumpkin Queen's party is. Who is the Pumpkin Queen? Who could it be? Ruler of Halloween. So cool. She throws the best parties around. It's at a super secret hideout that can't be found. Who is the Pumpkin Queen? <gasps> Boo! Look, over there, it's a big corn maze. Whoa. There are jack-o'-lanterns all over the place. Leave a candy trail all down the street. <laughs> On Halloween, we trick or treat. Debo and Tabs will guide the way. As we get closer, you'll hear us say. Who is the Pumpkin Queen? Ruler of Halloween. Whoa. She throws the best. 
best parties around. It's at a super secret hideout Yay. that can't be found. Who is the pumpkin queen? <laughs> Wait, I know how to find out. <gasps> Boo! Spider webs Ooh. and candy corn <laughs> lights. Debo making faces giving us a fright. Oh, oh who's this? Oh. A little mouse. She's, She's showing, showing us the way to the Halloween house. All of our friends will guide the way. As we get closer, you'll hear us say, Who is the pumpkin queen? Who? Ruler of Halloween. She throws the best parties around. It's at a super secret hideout that can't be found. Who is the pumpkin queen? <laughs> I am! It's Halloween night. Time for trick or treat. So do the monster stomp. The spooky wookie beat. Flying witches and bats, funky pumpkins, pumpkins and cats. cats. And Mr. Skeleton says, Can, Can I please, please have some snacks? Whoa, -ho! look, look out. out! The vampire's in town. Whoa. And she's the best dancer, so let's go boogie, boogie now. Cause on Halloween night, oh, all the fun never, never ends. ends. It's a spooky adventure with our family and friends. Who is the pumpkin queen? Ruler of Halloween. That's right. She throws the best parties around. It's at a super secret hideout that can be found. Who is the pumpkin queen? Me. <laughs> we found the pumpkin queen. <laughs> Rumor of Halloween. We went to the best party around. We found the secret hideout with our helpful pals. Guess what? Mika's the pumpkin queen. <laughs> Mika. It was me. Queen. Yay! Happy, Happy Halloween! Halloween. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> wow, Barry! You make painting look so fun! It is fun, Mika! Whoa! I want to try that! Hmm... Not quite what I pictured in my head. That looks great, Blippi! Remember, there are no mistakes in art. It's Bowie! Oh, hey! How you doing, Blippi crew? Wow, rainbows are the coolest. <gasps> we should paint a rainbow next. Oh, what a great idea. Hey, I love this guy. Hmm, I wonder. How do you paint a rainbow when you only have red, yellow, and blue? Oh, three colors is all we need. I'll be right back. Come on, Debo. <laughs> oh, I got to do a quick appearance in New Zealand, but I'll be back to check out your paintings. Bye-bye, Bowie. Wow. What's that? It's the Paint Mixer 5000. It's going to help us make a rainbow. Are you ready, Debo? It's mixing time! Whoopsie! Wrong button! Whoa, Debo! You're orange now! But how did red and yellow make orange? It's because red and yellow are primary colors, and blue too. When you mix two primary colors together, you make a secondary color. Like green, orange, and purple. So cool. Next, let's make green. You got it. Debo, pour in the yellow and blue. New color coming up. Here we go, here we go. Now all we need for the rainbow is my favorite color, purple. Maybe if we mix red and blue. We haven't tried that yet. Now we just need to mix these together. And shake it up. <laughs> it's purple. <laughs> Yay. Let's go paint that rainbow. Why just paint a rainbow when you can experience a rainbow? Come on, let's go. Ready to experience a rainbow? Yeah. Hit it, Debo. Yeah. 
<laughs> Surf's up! I love artistic expression! Oh, wow, we zip zoom bang! You made a full rainbow experience! I love it! I truly feel seen. <laughs> and I got the answer to my question. How do you paint a rainbow with only red, yellow, and blue? You mix them to make orange, green, and purple. Upload answer, Debo. Let's party! Yahoo! Yeah! <laughs> Race you to the ball pit! Okay, Blippi! Cuddle ball activate! <laughs> Whoa! Silly somersault! Totally awesome, Debo. Huh? <gasps> Is that a puppy? I love puppies! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo and Blue. What's your name? Lily! What a cute name! Great idea, Lily! <laughs> Blippi, Lily wants you to throw the ball for us. Okay, Lily and Blue, are you ready? Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> Go fetch! <laughs> Look at how fast Lily's tail is wagging. Hmm, I wonder, why do dogs wag their tails? <laughs> Uh-oh, I think Debo's broken. <sighs> Oh, no! Lily's probably scared. Debo, try giving her a treat. Now, hold out your paw so she can sniff you and know you're a friend. Yeah, Lily! All better. Do you want me to throw the ball again? She's so excited! Ready, go, fetch! Oh, she's so happy! Too hard, Blue! Oh no, is Debo okay? <laughs> Debo, you're all better! <laughs> Hugs? <laughs> Not so hard, Blue. Good girl, Lily. Good girl. She's so cute. Hugs? Be gentle, Blue. Oh, yes, right. <laughs> Hey, look at how fast her tail is wagging. Yeah, dogs wag their tails as a way of showing emotion, like fear or, or excitement. <laughs> Just like my antennas glow different colors for all my different feelings. I got the answer to my question. Why do dogs wag their tails? Dogs wag their tails to show emotions like fear or excitement. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> <laughs> Good girl, Lily. Good girl. <laughs> I don't think your guitar is working right, Debo. Hmm, I wonder, how does a guitar work? You're right, Debo. Let's go find out. <laughs> I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Shrinky Day! 
the Blippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Rock and roll! That sounded great. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippy, and this is Debo. I'm picky. We were wondering how a guitar works. Can you show us? I can, but I can't work the guitar by myself. I'll need your help to play it right. Okay. When I pick a string, it goes back and forth really fast, which makes a note. Whoa. Whoa. You're right, Debo. My string is much thicker than yours. I bet it's harder to balance for you. The faster the string goes back and forth, the higher the note! <laughs> How do you make other notes on a guitar? That's why I needed your help. Hey, Debo, could you move towards the far end of the neck, mate? <gasps> now back towards me. <laughs> Solo! <laughs> Well, that explains how different notes are made. Why does the guitar have such a big body? That's the part that makes it loud. Thank you. Hey, come stand over here on the soundboard. We're going up and down too. When I pluck the string, the whole guitar body vibrates and the sound hole there makes it super loud. Like a, oh, like shouting while cupping your hands over your mouth. <laughs> Hello. Wow, that was loud. Right, practice is over. Time to jam. One, two, three, four. And now I have the answer to my question. How does a guitar work? Guitars work because the strings vibrate and make sound, which is made louder by causing the whole hollow guitar body to vibrate. Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, <laughs> Picky. Bye, Blippi. Bye, Debo. Remember to always keep rocking. <laughs> Ready, Debo? <laughs> Three, two, one! Yeah, it's not quite what I envisioned. I wish I could make a few changes. <gasps> oh, yeah! I can use an eraser! Hmm, I wonder, how does an eraser work? Great idea, Debo! We'll shrink down and get a closer look. I'm gonna need a grabber arm and helicopter blades. Grabber arm, helicopter blades, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Even up close, it sure does need some changes. Maybe I can help. Huh? I am the amazing Ernie. Hey, it's me, Blippi. And this is Debo. We're here to learn how an eraser works. Well, you came to the right eraser because I can make anything disappear. Even pencil markings. That's amazing! Come see, it's the best show in town! The tip of a pencil is made of graphite, and when you rub it on paper, it leaves a mark! Cool! Oh, huh. Let's take a closer look through a magnifying glass. Graphite gets left behind on the paper because it actually sticks to the paper! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, no! Huh? I got it! Phew! That was close! <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> hey, Ernie, can 
can you erase this graphite mark? Oh, what a great idea! I will make that mark disappear by erasing it. When an eraser like me rubs against the paper, it creates friction and heat. Awesome! The heat makes the eraser stickier than the paper, so the graphite comes loose from the paper and sticks to the eraser instead. Friction also causes the eraser to disintegrate or fall apart. See the small bits coming off? <laughs> You've got a few on you. Oh, they're cute. Wrap the eraser on the paper enough, and boy, oh boy, the graphite comes off. Ta-da! My disappearing act. Oh, that's amazing. Was it magic? No, it's science. Cool. And I got the answer to my question. How does an eraser work? Erasers work by using friction to make them stickier than paper. So the graphite on the paper clings to the eraser. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for the magic show, Ernie. Now it's time for us to disappear. Goodbye, Blippi. It was magic to meet you. <laughs> Whoa, a giant construction site. Let's go check it out. Hard hat area. Hmm, I wonder, why do construction workers need to wear hard hats? <laughs> hey, I'm driving here. Whoa, hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We were wondering, why do construction workers wear hard hats? Oh, well, hello there, Blippi and Debo. My name is Christopher, Christopher Crane. I don't. Uh-oh! Here, put these on. You'll need them. Okay. Come with me. I need to bring these beams to the other side of the site. I can teach you about hard hats on the way. Here, here. Construction sites are very dangerous, and a hard hat helps protect your head from many risks. Like, you know, swinging steel beams. <laughs> Whoa! Watch out! Whoa, that was a close one. <laughs> That's why we gotta be careful, you know? Kareem, how you doing? That's my buddy Kareem, he's a good guy, very tall. Come on. Hi, Kareem. Hey, Debo, look out for those pipes. It's a good thing you're wearing your hard hat, Debo. Hard hats are great at protecting your head against bumps, you know? Still got a ways to go. Hop on! <laughs> yeah! Whoa! Look at all those construction workers all the way up there. <coughs> oh, sounds like lunch to me. But remember, there are dangers all over a construction site. You gotta be careful when walking below workers because... You never know when something might Debo! Fall. Oh. Oh. All right, stop goofing around. We got a job to do. Let's go. Uh oh. Yeah. Thanks, Christopher. All right, let's get this job started. Uh -uh. Yeah. This is the hard part. <laughs> Gotta line it up just so. Whoa! Watch out! Oh no! Okay? <laughs> hey, look! You helped install the last beam! Yeah! And I got the answer to my question. <laughs> Construction workers wear hard hats to protect their head from bumps and falling objects. <laughs> Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> hey, I got another job to do. Thanks for your help, Blippi. I'll see you later. Bye, Christopher. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! That 
one's blue. <gasps> that one is red, Tabs. Oh, and that one is green. Hmm, I wonder, why are fireworks different colors? Great idea, Tabs. Let's go investigate. I'm gonna need helicopter blades and a grabber arm. Helicopter blades, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinky down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Never get too close to fireworks. Be safe. Give them some space. Okay. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tax. We were just wondering how fireworks get their colors. Hi, I'm Penny. I'll spin you a tale all about it. Whee! First, you have to know that fireworks are little rockets filled with black powder, which burns fast. It the fireworks as high as the air. Whoa, that's pretty high. Good idea, Tabs. Let's get a better look at the fireworks in the sky. Will you join me in the Blippi Mobile, Penny? Sure. Whoa, great. Even in the air. Remember to stay safe and give them space. So colorful. Packed into the top of the firework are metal salts called stars. Just like different foods have different flavors when you eat them, different metal salts burn different colors when you ignite them. Watch out! Here comes another one, Tabs! Are you okay? I told you, stay safe and give them space. We should get down to the ground or we'll all miss the big ending. You're right, let's go. <gasps> Here it comes, the grand finale. What an amazing show! And now I have the answer to my question. Why are fireworks different colors? Fireworks are different colors because of the different metal salts they burn. Upload answer tabs. Bye, Penny. Bye, Flippy. Always stay colorful. Woo! was a gigantic truck. You're right, Debo. I think that was a monster truck. Hmm, I wonder, what makes a monster truck special? Good idea. We can catch up with that monster truck and find out. I'm gonna need monster truck wheels. Monster truck wheels confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Debo? Whoa, Debo! You have the monster truck wheels attachment? <laughs> You're like a monster truck! All right, let's ride! Debo the monster truck is ready for adventure! Crash! Crash! <laughs> It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. You really crushed that car. Hi, Blippi. I'm Megan. So, Megan, we're here to find out what makes a monster truck special. Cool. Well, I think the best way to answer your question is to show you what I do. Great. You see, I'm a monster truck with big, tall monster tires. I'm 13 feet tall. Wow. Let's go. Do this! All right! <laughs> huh? Huh? Crash! Oh. Ah. We can't 
bounce as high as you, Megan. And oh boy, we're almost tipping over. Well, I have heavy duty suspension, which are special springs, so I can bounce way up and down and not tumble over. <laughs> I use them when I race Whoa. and have competitions. Cool! Whoa. Whoa. Yeah! Welcome aboard, Flippy! Buckle up! It's time to dominate the obstacle course! Whoa! 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 This is awesome! How can you turn and zigzag so fast? I have something called four-wheel steering, so I can turn all four oh. wheels at once, instead of just two wheels like a lot of regular trucks. Oh. Us monster trucks are built for short, high-powered bursts of speed. I nailed that! Megan, that was amazing! And I have the answer to my question. What makes a monster truck special? Monster trucks are a special kind of truck with big tires, heavy duty suspension, and four wheel steering. Upload answer, Devo. Bye, Megan! It was so cool to ride with you! Bye, Blippi! Keep on crushing! <laughs> Oh, look at all those adorable penguins! Look at them sliding on their bellies and waddling around! Wow! I think those penguins are flying! Wait a minute! Those aren't penguins! <laughs> You're right, Debo! I don't see any penguins flying! Hmm, I wonder, can penguins fly? I'm gonna need duck feet and flippers! Duck feet, flippers, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Gangway! Huh? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> hey! It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We were wondering, can penguins fly? Hi, Blippi. I'm Pepper. I really want to fly. I just need to find the elusive Shimmer Stripe Iceberg. The Shimmer Stripe Iceberg? Yeah, it's the biggest iceberg around. Once I find it, I think I'll finally be able to fly. Come on, let's go. I prefer tobogganing over waddling. It's much faster. All right. Here we go! Whee! I spy detour! I'm gonna catch some serious air! Watch this! Yay! Whoop! Pepper? <laughs> Almost got it. We just need to find the Shimmer Stripe Iceberg. Then I really should be able to fly. Let's do it! <laughs> Whoa! Not this one. No shimmer stripes here. Whoa! Where could it be? Whoa! It's the shimmer stripe iceberg! Yeah! Woohoo! Here we go! Whoa! Come on, Debo! Yeah! <laughs> All right. Are you ready to catch some serious air? We were born ready! Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah! Whoa! Whoa, hey, dudes! <laughs> whoa, uh. whoa, whoa, whoa! Did you see that? I guess it's not the same as flying, but we did catch some serious air! Pepper, you're so I am? Ooh, ooh. You're right. I can really soar underwater. <laughs> Whoa. And I got the answer to my question. Penguins can't fly, but they're great swimmers. 
They also have flippers instead of wings, which help them swim through the water. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> I'm gonna go catch some serious waves now. Bye, dudes! Bye, Pepper! You look like a fireman! Now you look like a construction worker! <laughs> You're a natural cowboy, Debo! <laughs> hmm, I wonder, what is it like to be a cowboy? Let's find out! I'm gonna need a grabber arm! Grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station! The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Uh, uh, hey, do you know any cowboys? Whoa, Whoa there. <laughs> Howdy, I'm Hampton the Horse. What brings you two down to these for? Hey, it's me, Blippy, and this is Debo. We're here to learn what it's like to be a cowboy. Well, you certainly rode into the right ranch. Giddy up. But first, we've got to get you looking the part. All right. I see you got your hat on, partner. Looking good. <laughs> <laughs> Here, Blippi, grab yourself a hat and a bandana. See, cowboys wear these wide brim hats to protect themselves from the sun and the rain. Ah, oh, much better. Now you looking good. Yeah, cowboy. But they're also useful for gathering water when you need a drink. Cool. Woo. <gasps> Whoa! Uh oh! <laughs> Whoopsie! <laughs> Cowboy hats are also good for moving a cow in the right direction. Yeah! Here you go. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> hey! No worries there, Blippy. Being a cowboy is so much more than just having the right clothes. Like what? Riding the horses is a big part of the job. It's how cowboys got around before corn, and it allows us to herd cattle without scaring. Hop on. Let's ride. Maybe we should slow down. Oh, I think I'll stick to the Blippy Mobile. <laughs> That's actually perfect, since we have loose cattle to rank. We gotta spread out and move in the direction of the cows to go toward the pen. Yeah. Ah, this way. Let's get a wiggle on. That means let's go. Yeah. Yippee! <laughs> Well done, Blippi. You wrangled those cows like a real cowboy. Being a cowboy is hard work. Sure is, but it makes the day worthwhile. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for helping me find the answer to my question. <laughs> Cowboys wear big hats, ride horses, and wrangle cattle. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for making us feel at home on the range. Anytime, City Slicker. <laughs> <laughs> Last one to splash has to take out the trash. <laughs> Wait, worms! Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> hmm, I wonder, why do worms come out in the rain? I'm gonna need pontoons and the excavator arm. Pontoons, excavator arm. Confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Shrinky down. The Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure. La 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 la. Ooh, what's that? La 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 la. Whoa. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Oh, hi, I'm Wave the Worm, and I la 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 love singing! Everybody join in! La la la. 
Ah, I wish I could find another worm I could sing with. Well, I'd ask you, but you're not worms. But hey, enough about me. What can I do for you? We were wondering why worms come up from underground when it rains. There are three reasons. Follow me, 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 me. Worm dive. Whoa! It sounds like something's digging down. It's getting closer. Don't worry. That's just the raindrops hitting the ground above and sending vibrations down. But to us worms, it sounds like a predator trying to dig down and get us. So that's one reason we go topside. Whoa! What? We better get out of here! Wave? Hello? You're right, Debo. That does look like fun. Whee! Reason number two. When it rains, we worms can move around on the ground much faster. That's right, Debo. Wave did say there are three reasons why worms come out in the rain. What's the third reason, Wave? Third reason? Um. La, 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 la. Oh, that's right. Number three, to find a friend. I love the rain. I love the rain too. We love the rain. Wave, you found a friend who loves to sing just like you. And now I have the answer to my question Why do worms come out in the rain? Worms come out in the rain because the raindrop vibrations sound like predators. They can travel more quickly when it's wet and to find a special friend. Upload answer, Debo. Goodbye, Blippi. Goodbye, Debo. La 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 la. <laughs> bye bye, Wave. Thanks for all your help. <laughs> I love our cool Blippi mobile. You're right, Debo. Our car does have amazing things. Hmm, I wonder, what were the first cars like? Good idea. We can go way back in time to see one of the first cars. I'm gonna need helicopter blades. Helicopter blades confirmed. Activate Blippi station. Back in time! <laughs> the Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! We just traveled back over 100 years! I wonder whose house this is. It's mine! My name is Blippi. Yours? Hey, it's me, Blippi. Wait, are you my great grandpa? I think I am! Come here, future Blippi great-grandson! <laughs> Grandpa, we're here to find out what the first cars were like. Good timing! I'm about to take my first ever automobile for a drive! Hot dog, isn't this a beaut? Really cool! So, how does it start? This crank will make sparks that help start the engine! The engine started! Yeah! It looks like your car can only fit two people. And no seatbelts? Hmm. Seatbelts keep you safe. Hot dog. Seatbelts? Okay, let's go! To the top of that hill! Now down we go! Oh no, Debo! Whoa! 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 Does the car have any brakes? It sure does! <laughs> that was 
really cool <laughs> hot dog. And I have the answer to my question. What were the first cars like? You had to turn a crank to start it. Cars only had two seats. And you pulled a hand lever for the brakes. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, great grandpa Blippi. Happy and safe driving. It's a garbage truck. I can see it and <laughs> smell it too. <laughs> wow, Tabs, even you think it's stinky and you're a robot. Wait, where's that buzzing sound coming from? Oh, flies. Hey, those flies just flew into the garbage truck. Hmm. I wonder why do flies love garbage? Good idea, Tabs. We can go into the garbage truck to find out the answer. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out why flies love garbage. your breath tabs, we're going in. I'm in the garbage truck. Welcome, <laughs> I'm Horace the Fly. Looks like your first time here. Hmm? Hi Horace, it's me, Blippi. This is my first visit to a garbage truck. <laughs> Little stinky, huh? <gasps> Not for me, I love smells. Follow me, I'll show you around. This place is like my playground. <laughs> Whoopsies! Sorry about that. Hey, Horace. Why do flies love garbage? Because it's delicious and garbage makes me fly. We've got stinky beans, moldy cheese, greasy pizza boxes, and even leftover mystery mush. <laughs> Sorry, must have been the beans. I could give you a ride to the nearest garden or fly restaurant. Horace! Where are you? Everything's coming up! Garbage! Oh, is that cake? Oh, no, that was not cake. Still good, though. Got a dash and eat all the trash. Horace has more energy now. Aha, uh -huh. which means I think I have the answer to why flies like garbage. It's because they love the smell and they find food there. That's so silly. <laughs> Upload answer, Tabs. Yes, sir, Bippy. For me, a garbage truck is a 24-7 all-I-can-eat restaurant. Woohoo! Go, Horace. Thanks. Cheers, Blippi. I see the moon, stars, and is that a planet? Oh, it is, Tabs. Whoa, there's a whole area out there in space with the planets and the sun. It's called the solar system. Hmm, I wonder, what planets are in the solar system? Good idea, Tabs. Let's go into outer space. I'm gonna need a rocket booster. Rocket booster. Confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Now it's time to get planet size. Growing up. <laughs> right, Taps, we're in space. Whoa, it's a meteor. Hey, it's me, Blippi. Welcome to Outer Space, I marry the meteor. I'm here to find out about all the planets in our solar system. There are eight planets in our solar system. Let's meet them, shall we? Closest to the blazing sun are the two smallest and hottest planets, Mercury and Venus. Whoa, <laughs> Whoa. that is hot. We should go. The third planet is your home, Earth. 
Hi, Mom! Then there's Mars, the red planet. Mars is red because it's covered in rusty soil. <laughs> That's a lot of dust. Come on! Next up is the giant Jupiter, bigger than all the planets combined. He doesn't scare me, though. Whoa! We should go! We sure are a long way from the sun now. Welcome to Saturn and her rings. Whoa, they look beautiful. Can we get closer? Of course. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Yeah, wee. Wait, we haven't finished yet. On your left is Uranus, billions of miles from the sun, pretty cold. Now let's hear it for the furthest, windiest, and coldest planet, Neptune! Neptune? Whoa! I have the answer to my question. What planets are in our solar system? Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune! Upload answer tabs. Thanks for the tour, Mary. That was wild. See ya, Blippi. Time for a shower. A meteor shower! Bye, Mary the Meteor. Mmm, I love chocolate. Just a little bit now and then. Do you love it too, Debo? <laughs> oh, right. Dogs can't have chocolate. It hurts their tummies. Hmm, I wonder, how are chocolate bars made? Great idea! We can go into that chocolate factory and find out. I'm gonna need wings, hovercraft, and a prop engine. Wings, hovercraft, prop engine, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Let's go meet some chocolate bars in the chocolate factory. Hey there! <gasps> You're not Cocoa Beans! I need them so we can start making chocolate bars! <laughs> I'm not a bean, it's me, Blippi! And this is Debo! Hi, Blippi! Hi, Debo! <laughs> I'm Barb the Chocolate Bar! Welcome to my chocolate factory. Thanks, Barb. I'd love to see how chocolate bars are made. Can we come with you? Absolutely. It all begins with cocoa beans. <laughs> These beans come from plants. So how do beans become a chocolate bar? <laughs> they go on a little journey. First, a bean bath. Next, our beans get roasty and toasty. Then they get made into teeny weeny beans. <laughs> our bean powder then gets mixed with sugar and milk to make them sweet and smooth. <laughs> Woohoo! Come on, Debo, time to ski. No. no, but it'll be fun. It's Chocolate Bar Debo. After the chocolate is cooled into bar shapes, we wrap them and they're ready. Ta da! Whoa! You both look alike. And I have the answer to my question How are chocolate bars made? Cocoa beans get washed, heated, crunched, mixed with milk and sugar, and then cooled down into a chocolate bar. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for a sweet tour, Barb. Anytime. Bye, Blippi. Bye-bye. <laughs> hmm, what's better than a delicious piece of fruit? You're right, Debo. Vegetables are yummy too. Hmm, I wonder, what's the difference between fruits and vegetables? 
super suggestion. We'll go into that garden to figure it out. I'm gonna need wings and a grabber arm. Wings, grabber arm, confirmed. Okie dokie, artichokey. Activate Blippy Station. Shrinking down! The Blippy Mobile is ready for adventure. All right, we're in a community garden where all kinds of fruits and vegetables grow. And look, there's one right now. Step right up. You're the next contestants on Slip Cucumber Certified Fresh Game Show. Fruit or Vegetable. Say hello to your names. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> Blippi and Debo, a quick review before we start. All fruits have a pit or seeds in them and grow on a plant with flowers. Fruits have pits or seeds and always flowers. Got it. And vegetables are different. There are root and leaves. Got that too. Excellent. Let's play. Tell me, Blippi, is this carrot a fruit? Oh. Ooh, the carrot is a vegetable because it's a root and has leaves. That's right! But can Blippi go two for two? So tell me, is this tomato a fruit or a vegetable? Hmm, this is tough. Okay, a tomato grows from a plant, but it has seeds. It's also a vegetable? Oh, sorry. Tomato is a fruit. Now, your final question, Blippi. Can you tell me if this strawberry is a fruit or vegetable? Strawberry is a, a fruit. Yes, strawberry is a fruit. And you get two correct answers, which means this trophy is all yours. Wow. Thanks, Mr. Slim. And I also have the answer to my question. What's the difference between fruits and vegetables? Vegetables are roots and leaves, and fruits have flowers in a pit or seeds. Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, <laughs> Mr. Slim. Congrats to you, Blippi. That's our game. I'm Slim the Cucumber, and by the way, I'm a fruit. Tune in next time for our special guest, Madam Mango, on Fruit of Vegetables.